Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number seven, job practice. Single V-groove weld, 2G and 5G positions, visual and guided bend tests. Objective, to produce a weld that meets the standards of acceptability necessary to pass a visual and guided bend test in the 2G and 5G positions. Material, two three inch diameter scheduled 40 steel pipe nipples, electrode, one eighth inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten, filler metal, one eighth inch diameter, E70S, 1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Prepare a workpiece according to the procedure outlined in topic number four. Weld one-fourth of the workpiece in the 2G position with the procedure outlined in topic number five. And weld the other three-quarters in the 5G position as described in topic number six. Present the completely welded specimen to your instructor for visual inspection. The standards of acceptability are Cracks. A weld shall be acceptable by visual inspection if it shows that the weld has no cracks. Joint penetration. The root of the weld should show no evidence of incomplete joint penetration. Porosity. There shall be no porosity exceeding 1 16th inch maximum and there shall be no more than the combined total of one eighth inch of porosity in any one square inch of weld. Undercut shall not exceed one thirty seconds inch in width or depth, and there shall be no more than the combined total of two inches of undercut in any six inches of weld, or five percent of the total thickness of the base metal, whichever is less. Reinforcement. The finished weld shall have a face reinforcement of from flush with the base metal to a maximum of 1 8 inch. And the root reinforcement shall be a minimum of flush with the base metal and a maximum of 1 16th inch. All reinforcement must blend smoothly into the pipe surface with no overlap or undercut. If the weld passes visual inspection, prepare six test specimens for the guided bend test. With a soapstone, outline the six sections to be retained for testing. These straps should be three quarters of an inch wide each and marked with the welder's identification and the position from which the specimen is taken. Flame cut the six sections as outlined. Three of the strips will be retained for root bends and three for face bends. Two face bends and two root bends will be taken from the portion of the pipe welded in the 5G position, while one face and one root bend will be taken from the portion welded in the 2G position. Grind both the face and the root of the weld flush with the surface of the base metal without grinding away any of the base metal. The strips should be ground perpendicular to the weld axis or across the weld. Do not grind parallel with the axis or down the weld. Now, grind a 1 8 inch radius on the corners of each specimen. In a guided bend jig, Bend three strips with the face side up for the root bends and three strips with the root side up for the face bends. The standards of acceptability are 
none of the specimens shall have any open defects exceeding one eighth inch measured in any direction on the convex surface of the specimen, except that cracks that occur on the corners of the specimen will not be considered unless there is definite evidence that they result from slag inclusions or other internal defects. Analyze the test results and check with your instructor.